Hi, I'm Scott Helmers, and with me is David Parker, fellow Visio MVP and an expert on data graphics and presenting information visually. What are we going to do now, David? What are we going to look at? Okay, well, uh, I have already started doing some data graphics on this space plan here, but I want to enhance the, uh, the, the visual ability of my business information dashboard. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to show that if I was to simply add in a little rectangle down here, for example, there's no reason why the same data cannot be linked to multiple shapes within Visio. Okay. Okay, so let me take some, one of these rows, which has already been linked to a space, and I'll go and drag it and drop it onto there. It's in, automatically inherited the data graphics that I've used previously. Okay. But I'm going to vary that and show you how I can do a bit of customization. So let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on here. Okay. So this is the same data graphics that I had before, uh, but now I'm going to cop duplicate this data graphics here. Simply by right-clicking on it. Simply by choosing the duplicate option from the right mouse menu. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to go and apply that one to this shape. Great. Okay. It Good looks start. the same because I did a duplicate. Right. Okay. But now I'm going to go and edit that. So if I edit this data graphic, it's coming up with the, uh, the same data items that I had in there before. Right. Okay. But we're going to go and modify this. Right. Let's go and do a new item. Now this is going to be part of my dashboard that's below the floor plan. So I need to put into the name of this space as a text bar. All right, I'm going to add this as a heading into there. And if I apply that, you see it's at the bottom. Okay. Okay, I can easily take that and move it up to the top and do apply. We now see we've got the title there up at the top. That's very okay. easy to do. Great. It is. All right, and now I'm going to add into this a little thing called a data bar. So let's choose the uh, capacity, for example. Okay. This is the number of people that can fit in that particular space. All right, and we'll go to a data bar. There's a few choices for the data bar, as you can see down there. I'm going to choose one which is a horizontal stacked bar. Okay. Okay. And what I'm going to do is make this one go to the, in the center, but I'll go at the bottom of the shape. Okay. Okay, there's a variety of places I can put this. But if I apply that numerical value down there, Okay, we can see we've got the capacity. Okay. Okay, but I've also got the occupancy numbers for these rooms too. Okay, okay. so can we compare the two? We can compare the two. So I'm going to edit this, and this particular shape here allows us to add in multiple values. Okay. Okay, uh, I would let you know that there are five on display here, but if you create your own custom graphics, data graphics, you can have as many as you like in there. Okay, okay good. Right, so let's go down to the second field and let's choose occupancy. And if I apply that, we've now got the occupancy versus capacity. That's really handy. Now I can see both values yeah. compared to each other. And I'm going to make it even clearer for you now. Okay. And show you how I can put in a little formula. So let's do a new item down there. And this time, rather than choosing one of the shape data values, uh, rows that have been offered to me, right. I'm going to go off to more fields. If we go to more fields, we go into the field selector. Now, this does allow me to go to a variety of places and bring in information. Right. But it also, if I go down to custom formula, I can use calculations based on the data that's in the shape. So. Okay. And how do I do that? How do I refer to a particular field? Well, over on the left.